Before we get too far along, it's important to work on our organization, and for this in class, we're going to use Google Drive, which many of you coming from the middle school are really used to because of your Chromebooks. Now, we're not using Chromebooks, but that doesn't mean you can't still use Google Drive. We do all have Google Drive accounts uh, just with our center email, so we're going to go to drive.google.com and hopefully check off a couple more boxes on our checklist here as we get started. So I've gone to drive.google.com, and just like you, I'm not signed in yet, although I do have a couple accounts to sign into. So I'm going to click on my school account, and I'll go ahead and enter my password, hopefully correctly this time. There we go. And it's going to take me to the home page of Google Drive. Now there are plenty of videos on YouTube or everywhere explaining all the ins and outs of Google Drive, so I won't do that here. If you need to look up some of those videos, feel free to do so on your own time or ask me or, or a friend for help. The big thing I want you to do today is to create a document just for your passwords. We're going to use a lot of different apps in class and it's going to be really important that you stay organized and you don't have to come up to me and complain that you've lost a password because really there's nothing I can help you with because you're going to be making all the accounts yourself. So we're going to create a new spreadsheet by clicking on this Create button and going down to Spreadsheet. And we'll left-click and open up a new spreadsheet. The very first thing I want you to do every time you open up a new Google Doc is to rename it. So I'll name this Chambers Passwords. And I'll click OK. And we now have a new Passwords document. A couple columns I want you to set up, and then I'll let you get going on your own specific apps. The first column I want you to set up is the website or application. So we'll do website slash app. So for example, um, I, I might do Moodle. Okay. And then if I go right in between here where the arrow shows and I double click, it'll take it to the width uh, and it'll change the width of the column so that it doesn't cut anything off. We then need the username. And I'll put in a chambers. And then we need the password to which I would type my password, which is not password, but I'm not telling you my password. You should not tell anybody your password. Keep those to yourself. Now, I will tell you to try to come up with good passwords. Uh, a password such as password is not a good password. A better password might be password uh, and then underscore number 48. Let's say your favorite number is 48. Uh, and then this, providing some symbols in there, is going to keep people from hacking into your accounts uh, either on accident or on purpose. Now, something, some web put in a reminder like who is your mother's mother, who's your maternal grandmother. Uh, so if there's a reminder question, uh, then maybe you put in whatever the answer to that reminder question is. And there we go. If I ever forget what Moodle is, I can come back to this, and I'm good to go. So everything saves automatically, so we'll just X out of this. And if I want to ever get it again, then we see right here, Chambers Passwords, and it's ready to go. Okay, now let's go back to our checklist and see where we're at. We have successfully accessed Google Drive. We have created a spreadsheet for your passwords for class. Now the next thing is to access your G class folders, which you already uh, have shared with you at this time, right at the beginning of the year, and you'll need to click on the view folder. Now as a teacher, I don't actually have access to see what you see, um, so I have a hard time showing you through a video like this what you need to do. But you should see up here a folder, and I'll just go ahead and create one that looks like it. Uh, you should see a folder that says G class um, modern world history and then it should say something like view or something like edit okay so you want to go ahead and click on your view folder uh, and, and you'll click on that and you should see now your assignment uh, called the end of or sorry how America will fall complete that assignment and once you complete that assignment and turn it in using G class folders then you're going to click off those two boxes and you're going to move on to the next part of the checklist. Good luck. Let me know if you got any questions.